From Soldiers Radio and Television, this is the Army Today, a daily feature from around the globe. Uh, Kim Jong-il has declared the year of uh, uh, 2012 as a great and prosperous nation, so that can lead to provocations. It's something that we watch closely every day. His son uh, it causes us some concern from the standpoint that he's probably unpredictable. Last year they showed the, the willingness uh, through uh, aggression to sink the Chonin, uh, killing uh, 46 of the, of the rock sailors. Uh, they shelled the Waipido Island. The other key thing is we potentially see a change in leadership in Russia, China, and the rock. At the same time, we have the 100th year anniversary of Kim Il-sung, uh, and then you've got the rock presidency that's up for election in December. What happens if we leave? We're not leaving. Just due to the strategic nature of where uh, South Korea sets in this portion of the world, we're committed to the alliance. We're committed to providing peace and stability to this region. Sir, the overall mission for U.S. forces in Korea has changed. Why? If you had a war breakout over here, it's going to affect the whole global economy. It is important with the rise of China, uh, a uncooperative North Korea, that we maintain forward presence so we can deter any aggression and maintain peace and stability to this region. And any instability on this peninsula is going to have a global impact. And I think the American people need to understand that. That's the Army Today. 